Hey guys, welcome back on my YouTube channel. As you can see, I'm actually at the airport because I'm about to head to Bahrain because it's the first race weekend coming up and I cannot wait. So the first race weekend of F1 and obviously also of F3. So um, yeah, first time being back racing actually in Formula since 2020. But um, I cannot wait. It's going to be good. It's going to be great. It's Tuesday now. Um, so tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, we'll just have like meetings with the engineers, briefings, media activities, pictures, whatever, all those things. And then on Friday, we'll have one free practice session, one qualifying, and on Saturday, one race, and Sunday, one race. And yeah, I'm going to take you with me. Jan is also going to come, so then it's going to be more professional. But now I'm going to talk and film and so on. So be nice to me. And yeah, see you when I'm in Bahrain. <laughs> now it's been two days of media activities and actually it was really stressful but now it's finally time to focus on the real stuff and um, yeah it's a 30 minute session and we're just warming up a little bit so um, yeah and then quali is in the afternoon today so it's warmer and here in Bahrain what a surprise <laughs> and yeah how do you feel starting in this new season? I'm feeling good, I'm happy to be back racing because uh, winter break is always annoying. But um, yeah, we'll see, you know, it's going to be a tough season. It's a new team to have three. I'm kind of new again to Formula, so for sure many things to learn from both sides. Um, but yeah, looking looking good and just got to learn and uh, move on and try to work with the team to, to get this year as good as possible. So, yeah. And what um, have you missed most during winter break about racing? about being on a racetrack just having like a proper job which i love you know when you're at home you have like many responses to media things which are cool obviously but still like being on the track hearing it the sound and so on smelling fuel <laughs> and just like i don't know the whole atmosphere that's what i missed so, yeah. that's super disappointing i thought you're gonna say me <laughs> yeah and you as well of course <laughs> see you getting weight. I love it. <laughs> it's always like, yay, and he's screaming it. And you're like, thank you. Now the whole paddock knows what I weigh. <laughs> yes, I lost one and a half kilos yesterday. <laughs> Is this one different? Okay, so we had FP1 before, I just had lunch, which was really good, and yummy, my tummy is full. <laughs> and um, yeah, in like three hours we have qualifying, which is um, yeah really important in FIA3, because there's 30 cars on the grid, and kind of, yeah, it's just always really important and super close together here. Um, we gotta use two sets, so it's gonna be like out, warm, push, cool, push, and then box, and then the same procedure with the second set. Um, the qualifying session is 30 minutes, and then we have two races this weekend, so I'm just gonna explain the format now. So we have one free practice session, one qualifying on Friday, and then one race on Saturday and one race on Sunday. So the race on Sunday is like the main race where you get like full points and it's also longer. It has like here, it's like 22 laps plus one lap or one minute. And then on Saturday, the race is actually a little bit shorter. It's like 19 laps here and um, it's reverse grid. So the first 12 are gonna start reverse. So if you're P12 in qualifying, you're gonna start P1 in the race on Saturday. Um, and then the main race on Sunday is the normal, normal grid. So um, yeah, we're gonna have qualifying soon. I need to say it because otherwise there's strong expectations. You know, I am new here, P12 
PHM Racing by Charus is a complete new team. Last year Charus Racing was yeah, last in the championship, so our expectations are not really high. We just it's important to be realistic in the end, you know. Um, for me, it's important to be the quickest in the team to try to yeah move the team forward to get better throughout the season to learn from weekend to weekend with the team together but in the first races Bahrain Melbourne especially it's really about gathering data making experiences with the car and then try and see to develop anything better for European races but it's super close together here um, the team is really motivated they're really happy they're really pushing which is really great to see um, but you've got to be realistic so um, yeah quality next and then I'm going to see you later Day. It's Saturday and um, we will be on track at like midday at 12 and actually that's like the F3 area because you know you have like the F1 in the main garages um, and we are like I don't know behind them and like a big tent is like F3 so it's all the teams lined up here and then there's other pit boxes down there and that's actually F2 and the Porsche Cup uh, Middle East I think and yeah then we go out on this pit lane go to the f1 pit lane and that's where we also like have our sessions but like we are based here um but yeah it's it's race day first race today is the sprint race which means i'm gonna start actually p23 same for tomorrow by the way i'm also gonna start p23 but um yeah it's like a shorter race 20 laps apparently and we'll see you know um quali yesterday it was actually okay, it was like the first run was pretty good. The only issue is like some people actually, or like most of the guys actually did three sets. So um, they have a dif different tire strategy than us. Um, but yeah, you know, we'll see. Uh, there's only one way forward in the race. So I'm gonna, gonna try and gain some positions, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, see you later, but it's already getting warm now. So it's not, it's gonna be hot later at lunchtime to do a race, but we'll see, I'm gonna be sweaty. of 2023 and well the team made a little mistake so we actually had to start from the pit lane because apparently the rules changed compared to last year which yeah made us start from the pit lane so we were last um, and then luckily safety car came out so we were actually able to catch the group again and in the end we finished p22 i think it's a shame but in the end well there was not so much more possible than maybe p18 or p17 so but it's all about getting data and doing laps so that's that's positive we finished the race but now i actually want to show you the box because you know f1 is the main pattern well the main event here so we're just like the support event so we're also not really having pit boxes for example here in bahrain we have like those tents like the f3 as i said before and i just want to show you my box so that's my car i have car number 29 this year quiet i need quietness So we actually also the loudest cars on track because F1 is not so loud, F2 is not so loud because they have a turbo and we are actually the loudest on track so that's pretty cool, F3. So yeah, 29 is my starting number, then my two teammates is 30 and 31. That's my car, obviously we have Sophia here again and we have the Alpine Academy here because I'm a member of the Alpine Academy now. 
which is super cool. I'm also going to do another video on YouTube showing you the steering wheel and the cockpit because it's actually pretty big and many buttons and so on, so you know it. Um, yeah, if we go back here, it's like all the tools here, like the things. This is for the fuel, where you get like, you fuel up the car. Then here we're actually watching F1 and also F2 when they're racing. Here is like some fruits. And then that's anyone. Um, yeah, some more fuel, some snacks, my drink bottle from Alpine, you know. And then, yeah, coffee machine. That's like the engineering area, so um, because it's like an overseas race weekend, obviously we don't have any trucks here. Um, and down there is just like the team boss sitting. And then, yeah, that's where like the tires get prepared and like some work is getting done. My sweaty stuff is hanging there to dry up because it was super hot today. And then this is like the driver's area and like, you know, you have all the headphones from the team like some more tools which they need. Then that's my area, like my helmet, my passes, um, and just my, my gear, my stuff, my warming up stuff and so on. <coughs> and yeah, that's kind of our area here in Bahrain for a free. Um, you can actually write me in the comments what you want to know and so on. So I'm going to try and answer them next time when we are in Australia. So um, yeah, I'm going to watch F2 now because it's actually they're having their sprint race now. And then I'm going to see you guys later. And by the way, I was just commentating the FP3 for Sky Germany um, on TV. So yeah, I'm going to tune in some pictures now how it looks in the commentating boxes over start finish. now so it's Sunday race it's gonna happen so I'm gonna see you later <laughs> Guys, that's it with the first race here in Bahrain. Um, it's actually over on the first race weekend. It's super hot still. <laughs> We're all melting. But um, yeah, we finished P21 today. It was a little bit difficult to be honest with the car. We had oversteer from the beginning onwards and then the tire deck at some point starts hitting in and then it's even worse. So um, yeah, we'll see you know, how fast it was a weekend to learn for the team to actually get some, gather some data. And I think that's what we did. Um, still, you know, many mistakes, but we'll try to figure it out. And um, yeah, now there's Porsche driving and then there's the F1 race where I'm actually going to be in the Alpine box. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Write in the comments whatever you want to know, whatever you want to see. And then I'm going to see you guys in Melbourne in Australia. It's actually going to be my first time in Australia. So yes, I'm melting. So see you.